wanted to convert a car to electric because the car that Bill normally drives to work is a full-size pickup truck that gets pretty bad mileage and isn't particularly good for the environment. So by converting a car to electric, we don't have to stop at the gas station, we're not spewing pollutants into the air, and it's really kind of fun. A gasoline-powered car burns more gas and runs dirtier and less efficient during short commutes. My commute to work, for example, is 26 miles round trip, so an electric car is perfect for that. There's not a lot of electric cars on the road today, and that could be from a variety of reasons, from the cost of an electric car to uh, the waiting period to buy one when they are available. But you know, there is a third option. You can actually build your own electric car. To build an electric car, you have basically two options. One, you could build it from the ground up, which means you're going to be building everything. The other option is that you could easily convert an existing vehicle to an electric car with some modifications. Building an electric car doesn't require that you have to be this electrical engineer or somebody that's really a big automotive buff, but it does require that you spend some time doing a little bit of research and have the drive. It's not the, a weekend project. It does take time to do, but almost anyone can build their own electric car. We have 10 days to convert a 1992 Volkswagen Cabriolet into an electric car. We can do that if we're motivated. We have a drive to do that. We work well collaboratively. And I think once we're done, we're going to have just a very, very cool car. The crew, as we'd like to say, building the car today are from all over the country. We've got folks here from Canada, New York, all walks of life. We've got a mom and son team. We've got folks that are engineers, professors at universities and so on, and just common everyday people. Building an electric car in comparison can be much simpler than building a gasoline vehicle. It has the same components that the tire, suspension, brakes, you know, some of the electrical involved in there, but we don't have these camshafts and the fuel injection, emission systems, cooling systems. We basically have a plug and play motor and a set of batteries. It's much simpler to work on, much simpler to design, and doesn't require the precision that the gasoline motor does. One of the most difficult challenges with building an electric vehicle or converting an electric vehicle is finding a place to put all the batteries. You have somewhere between 16 and 24 batteries that you may need to find a place for. We're talking about cars that are designed to carry one battery that's maybe a cubic foot. And now you have to multiply that by 24. provide the energy to move the car down the road. Then you have a speed controller, and then you have the motor. The conversion process that we're using is a collaborative team effort. These folks have broken up into different teams working on the specific area of the conversion. Most of the people that I know built their cars in their home garages. You're going to come up with real challenges. There was never meant to be an electric car, but any car can be converted. This is our new fuel. You plug it in, unplug, and then you go. No pollution.